Okay, next up we have Athira, and her topic is listening to the invisible universe. Did you hear that? <laughs> no. But hopefully with Athira's help, you will be able to. A big round of applause, please! <laughs> Years ago, in a galaxy far, far away, two black holes danced a cosmic tango. They drew closer and closer until they finally collided and merged to become one single black hole. That collision sent out waves across the universe called gravitational waves, which shook everything in its path. Here on Earth, we were also shaken by these waves, but only by about a fraction of an atom. So we didn't really feel those waves, nor did we see those black holes colliding. Then how did we even know it happened? We heard them. Think of all the sounds you hear every day, like the call of a bird or a dripping tap. A sound is just the vibration of air molecules as a specific pattern of waves. And when you hear that wave pattern, you know the sound that caused it. Likewise, gravitational waves are also vibrations, but not of air because there's no air out there, right? Imagine the universe as a single fabric where space and time are interconnected. Gravitational waves can stretch and squeeze this fabric, making space and time itself to vibrate. Incidentally, colliding black holes make space-time vibrate in the audible frequency, but we are not equipped to hear them. So a team of scientists decided to build the world's most sensitive ear to do that job for us. They called it LIGO. LIGO can actually pick up the minute vibrations of gravitational waves, remove out all other noise, and just give us their wave pattern. By plugging it into a computer, we can hear these waves and figure out what caused them. So what should colliding black holes sound like? In their last seconds, as the black holes come closer, they spin faster, making the frequency of their gravitational waves to keep rising until it reaches a sudden chirp when they merge. And then there'll be complete silence. It would sound like this. In 2015, LIGO picked up a signal that sounded just like that. It was, in fact, the final call of that dancing black hole couple from a billion light years away. That sound was historically as momentous as hearing the first words of man from the moon. Because with that sound, we had just begun a whole new journey in astronomy where we no longer had to just use telescopes to look at the visible universe. We could now sit back and listen to the symphonies of gravitational waves coming from the dark corners of the invisible universe. Thank you very much. Fantastic comments. Can I just say, I felt like I was listening to a poem. Oh. I thought it was very beautifully delivered and very convincing. Uh, is this also what you're working on? Are you listening to uh, these beautiful <laughs> waves in your lab? Or what? Uh, yes, yes, that's right. We, I, I'm, a, I'm a theoretical astrophysicist. I try to work out what are the stars that actually make these double black holes. Yeah, so that's what I do. Amazing. Great. Any other comments, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> How do you know that that was the real sound? Very good question. Is that all the question? Yeah, okay. No, I have more. <laughs> because, well, you said we built the most sensitive ear in the history. Hmm. How can you isolate that? And how do you know the time that the thing happens? Good, good question. You're really listening. OK, so the biggest opponent, because we're listening to sounds, the biggest opponent of this instrument called LIGO is noise, right? So there are noises that happen everywhere, like earthquakes for one thing, and um, I don't know, a big truck passing by. The scientists actually have wave patterns for all these noises. And they can actually remove these things when they have the wave pattern from the instrument. That's one. 
And two, there's not just one instrument, there are two of them separated by a few thousand kilometers. And if both of them pick up a source at the same time, then you know it's a cosmic source. There's nothing anybody can say to that. <laughs> Great explanation, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, judges, and thanks, Athira. Thank you very much.